Hello, Dune Crest America School. I hope you're all having a fabulous day today on this beautiful, wonderful Monday. It is a great day. Today is June 8th, and we are just tearing it up today. I'm telling you, we're down to our last three weeks of school. I will be very sad because, as we know, I don't like not being in school. It's bad enough we're on virtual uh, learning, but gum, there's no need for a summer vacation. We should just stay all year long. But alas, I'm sure I won't lose that argument, so I won't go down that road. So first off, I want to say a big congratulations to our IB Global Politics students. Today I had a, the opportunity to proctor one of their exams, and it was just fabulous. I was very impressed with the intensity of our students' concentration in their writing. And so I'm very proud of you. Keep up the great work. I know you've got exams for quite a while here in the next few weeks, but you're going to do a great job, my friends, and you're going to do a, you did super today. Get your yearbook. That's right. To purchase your copy of the yearbook today, log in to Schools Buddy at dunecrest.schoolbuddy.net and click on the bookings open tab. You will find Dunecrest yearbook registration. And once you do that, follow all the steps to select your copy and to make your payment. It is a mere 125 AED. So it's a great, great book. Once you have completed all the steps and made your payments, you will receive a confirmation email and we will have these ready for you to pick up uh, towards the end of the school year. So we'll have those ready here soon and it will be fabulous. So make sure that you get your yearbook today. This is for students grades pre-K all the way up to grade 11. And as soon as we get back to school and get better body around, we'll do a signature parties and make sure we get lots of signatures in our yearbook. But for in the meantime, order your yearbook today. I'd also like to say a big congratulations to our elementary students who had a virtual art show. And so I'm going to share a little bit of that right now with everybody. Oops, let's, let's not do that. Uh, let's uh, share this with everybody right now. I want you to see some of this amazing artwork we did. I just threw this one in there because you know what? That is the picture of our, our school, our staff. We all miss you, but we are loving the Dunecrest Elementary School Art Show. And they uh, their theme this year was Live Your Life in Full Color. And my goodness, did they do that. This would be one of the bulletin boards that was done earlier in the year at our school right outside the art room with the elementary kids. This is some of their pottery where they had made some bowls for their moms and their dads. They even made out of clay some figures from their favorite cartoon areas. Ooh, that was one of my favorite right there. I love the fish. They made cupcakes. Yes, I tried to eat one of those. It was not good. I've learned that you cannot eat ceramic cupcakes and you definitely should not eat a taco fish made out of glazed clay, but they look beautiful. They are nice. Mr. Glenn also made a little bit in the class. He taught some of these lessons and you can see some of his figurines there. Our students also made some zebras and they also made dinosaurs. Oh my goodness, you can just see Tyrannosaurus Rex going through the school now, tearing everybody up. This is some of their string art they did, and of course owls mean wisdom. So obviously our students did a good job there. These features reminded me of Picasso, so I had to sling those in there. Our KG2 students did some self-portraits, so thank you KG students for your self-portraits. This is of lions though, so that wasn't a self-portrait. They also did some sailboats. Oh, they wanted to sell them to the deep blue sea. This is the green screen fun that our students did. Uh, that was a, a grade three, I believe. African elephants were also made. Notice those amazing eyeballs. And then, of course, October came around. We had Halloween in the spooky October night sky. Some more wisdom from owls. And then, yes, we started decorating using bright colors and just making sure everything looks so beautiful as you can see. The plate art was just fantastic. It's still on display at school now. I was admiring that earlier today. You can see the jungle animals that our elementary school students did. Also, interior design. They created their own dream bedroom. And you can see some of these uh, creations they did. Here's a whole city landscape that they did. And 
how to get musical and create a guitar. I look forward to seeing the songs that's going to be sung next. It's in beautiful landscapes done by our elementary school students, including oh, it's snowing up at the Arctic Circle in an igloo. This is much better. You can see the bird in the right-hand corner. So they made pictures uh, of drawings of the pictures that they had. So you can see these. I think our students did just fabulous. They did some sewing and weaving also, some black glue and paint uh, in the elementary art class. And look at this. They even did some weaving. Oh, my goodness, Miss Sue had them going. Now, starting from this point forward is projects people have done during our distance learning time. So this is what we've done in art since we've been at home. Of course, we did some some Lego art, some learning about designs. Uh, we've done some portraits here with fruit that people had on their tables. We did some fox and dog pictures. We even did some Japanese temples. And so you can see those all run through there. I love the castles by our Disney contributing artists that came and visited with us, Mary Blair. So thank you, Miss Blair, for coming and working with our students. And we love Disney. Go Mickey Mouse. And you can see those beautiful artworks. We even designed some cupcakes. This, of course, when I looked this earlier, made me so hungry. I had to go get me a McFlurry. So thank you, Miss Sue and elementary art students. Y'all are making me gain weight by make, look, making such beautiful artwork in ice cream. For Earth Day, <coughs> we did a great project with our students where they use recycled materials. So thank you for not only making beautiful materials, but making it from recycled materials. Did some self-portraits. So I don't know who this is, but they did a fabulous job. And I'll tell you, elementary st school students, you just did a tremendous job with those art projects. And thank you, Miss Sue, for putting together this elementary art show. It was fantastic. Just absolutely fantastic. All right, so we want to thank you. It is time to see the sky. Yes, it is time to see the sky. Mr. Matt did a video for us already on this. But parents, make sure that you order your eclipse glasses on June the 21st. We'll be a 90% eclipse here. And so we want to make sure that you see that and you're excited about it. And so full steam ahead. What this is, this is MIT has put together some projects for us parents. So if you will click on this website right here, it will take you to this MIT, that's Massachusetts Institute of Technology website, and they will show you some projects, fun activities that you can do as a family. So we'll watch a little bit about them explaining about their project that you're doing for the entire world just to make Welcome your life to full better. Steam ahead a new site that we've launched at MIT to provide materials that help the many educators and students seeking to teach and learn remotely. I'm Eric Klopfer, a professor here at MIT. Well, not here at MIT. I'm at home, like many of you, figuring out how to teach, learn, and connect in this strange time. In this section of Full Steam Ahead, you'll find our weekly K-12 care packages. Care packages are a set of resources designed around a chosen theme. The themes will be selected by MIT scientists, engineers, and educators to inform, inspire, and activate the minds of learners from elementary through high school. The packages will be available on this site, but contain a combination of materials that can be used online and offline. Interviews with experts will set the stage. The activities will allow learners to work on their own, but also provide support for teachers to use these activities with their classes who are likely working at a distance. We will make them available weekly starting March 23rd, and the materials will remain up and free to use as long as you'd like. We hope to help fill the need of many parents, teachers, and students looking for enriching things to do while they are not at school. We draw upon our experience working on project and problem-based learning and using technology to enhance learning for all to fill this need. Our aim is to make this site as useful as we can to the many people out there in a diverse set of circumstances. Please use the forums to post or have your parents or teachers post your responses to the activities we present. The forums can also be used for feedback and for supporting educators looking to use these materials. We hope you find benefit in these packages and that you'll, we'll be hearing from you online. Full steam ahead. All righty, so we appreciate our friends from MIT making this available to us. And Mr. Ahmed Matwili, who sent this to us, Mr. Ahmed is a alumni of, of this fine establishment. And so we appreciate him uh, sending that to us and making sure that we 
are taking advantage of that. You know, this this week across the world, unfortunately, we've had another negative event. Uh, and I'm not talking about the COVID-19 this time, but you know, there any time that there's any acts of violence, it does affect us all. And there's been protests, obviously, as we've seen across the globe. And while we're disappointed in some of the the craziness that happens with uh, with folks who did protest, a quality protest and people letting their voice be heard is actually a good thing. And, and to let people and our special our leaders know that no, it's not acceptable for folks that's in authority to you know to trample on our rights as human citizens. And we know that every human being has a right to be respected, to be loved, and to, to be treated fairly. And so, uh, you know, we need to make sure that we're all doing this for each other. And it might it just remind me a little bit of some things that we need to be doing. And at Dunecrest, I know we do a great job with this, but how many of you have had bad situations you can think of right now that would completely go away? I'm talking about totally disappear. If everyone involved would show simple kindness towards one another. And if we can all just remember this, it is very easy to be kind. It is very easy to be polite. It is very easy to look for the positive in every situation. It's a choice if you do it the other way. So I encourage you to use that kindness. There would be no more bullying, no more mean-spirited teasing. There would be no hatred and no violence if there was kindness. Why? Because you cannot be a bully with a kind heart. And it's impossible to be simultaneously mean-spirited and kind. You have to make a choice. You cannot be both. Choose to be kind. With kindness, we can build each other up rather than tearing each other down. You never want to tear somebody else down. Always build your fellow man or woman up to higher, higher levels. It's easy to be kind, folks. It's easy to be kind. Make that your mantra. Make that who you are. Now listen to these words from famous writer Henry James. Three things in human life are important, he says. Number one, first is to be kind. Second, to be kind. Third, to be kind. Take some time to consider how each of us can bring a little more kindness into our world. When you interact with people, treat them with respect. Treat them with the dignity every human being deserves. Treat them with kindness. Now you have a choice, my friends at Dunecrest American School. You can make it a great day or you can make it a fantastic day. The choice is yours. At Dunecrest American School, we're about raising student achievement every day, every way.